excitement that surrounds the production of music is pretty much unmatched. It's worth everything just to be able to live and work in an environment like that on a daily basis. Well, you know, it's a recording studio. Uh, a lot of knobs, a lot of buttons. This particular console is an API console, and I've been a big fan of API gear. A pretty sought-after console in the rock and roll world. This studio really has the ability for pristine quality. You know, if you want your project just the best it can be, it's not a terrible idea to try to make it the highest quality you can from its birth before it goes down to this little tiny earbud that this, it's this big on a little iPod like people are today. We've never had an API console in town. And then lots of other little toys. When Ward told me he wanted to expand his studio setup, I think he envisioned it to be a place for, for film and music. I've always been amazed at, at what music can do for film. This is a, a great place to mix a film. It's set up for surround, right, and the console's designed for it. Beautiful flat panel displays. We're set up to do ADR. We've got libraries of sound effects, and we can do it ourselves as well. One of the first surround projects I did here was for a film called Gospel Hill. And then Five Dollar Cover, which was a mammoth project. We've also just recently done a film that was shot in Memphis called Insecure. We did a lot of the Foley work, a lot of the dialogue replacement, in addition to mixing all the music. In the surround mode, it's just kind of a whole different mindset of mixing. Jimmy Crossway is a master genius. He's a psychedelic warrior. He came and erected this huge, crazy contraption full of symbols and percussion and mystical devices. It's a 16-gauge symbolic John Cage gong. Well, it's just such an interesting sound and these would be great sound effects to record and capture for a film. I think it's just so cool how in typical Memphis style, you know, he just went to eat lunch down the street and John Stubblefield was there. I knew these things needed some kind of, you know, bottom. And I asked him, you know, have you ever bowed an upright bass? And he said, that's my specialty. Midtown is the heart of Memphis. This is like, you know, the melting pot of the city right here. Ward values unique artists and he's really open to you, you know, making it your space when you're here. And I think it's a really cool studio. It's going to work best when somebody has a project where they need some support, privacy, where they can sort of camp out and do their thing. And those sort of projects work well here. Whatever you need done, this is a great place to do it. Keep the Memphis music rolling. Keep the vibe alive. <laughs>